Hey guys, Michael here. This is a review of my boy D Boys M4 BI3381 Full Metal, purchased from Taiwan Gun. The gun has got quite a bit of weight to it, it is mostly metal. The gun has a full metal upper and lower receiver. Towards the back of the gun, it has got a sling mount and a plastic adjustable stock. The gun has a working charging handle which opens a dust cover to allow access to the hop-up. You move on, it has taken every type of M4 mag I've thrown at it as you'd expect it to. Along the front, the battery is housed here, can be accessed by taking the screw off on this side and one on the other side. There's a lot of room in there for a different type of batteries. It has a small to me a connector at the moment that comes with the gun. I run the gun completely stock, so how you see it perform is how it performs out of the box. I have had to have one change made to it. That was to get a lower powered spring put in it because it was shooting around 360, 370 feet per second um, standard and I needed to shoot less than 350 to play at the indoor site. So, I asked the guys at Taiwan Gun and they put in a weaker spring for me. They did all of the, um, the work themselves free of charge before sending it out. I did have to purchase a spring but they put it in for me. They were great about it. it didn't, I hardly added any time to my shipping. So I got the gun within a week. It was great. It comes with this stock um, grip at the front which just screws on at the bottom and holds quite tight, doesn't rattle. There is four more rails so you can add to it. And they can just be added to the side for a lot of uh, tactical options if you want. I choose to run it with the standard iron sights, although they do fold down. Even though the gun itself is a metal gun. It's not overly heavy so you can still get some pretty good rushing and holding it up. Not too bad. I found with this gun as opposed to my other M4 I was able to pick targets out at range. Really make some reliable range shots that I just wasn't wouldn't have been comfortable making with my own older M4. And the whole metal, I kind of, when I first started using it that day, was really a bit put off by it. It just felt too heavy and sluggish to me. But after using it, I found that it was really, really manoeuvrable. I did find the internals of this gun to be very solid, it was reliable, it took the shots, it kept up with how fast I was prepared to mash my trigger and actually performed really well at range, you can see there I was taking a lot of those people I wasn't actually correcting really for the distance on much of them um, I did find in some of the outdoor games towards the end of the day that shooting up a little was necessary but shooting close range in these warehouses I was quite able to reach targets at the far end without any stress of whether the BB would hit them or not. Ouch. Headshot. Sorry! So in all, I found this gun to be a really good buy. 
is only around £110, which is the lower end of the price range for entry level airsoft guns. The postage for it was only a tenner as well, so it was really within a beginner and airsoft level budget. But just because it was in that price range doesn't mean it was that sort of a gun. It did feel a very sturdy gun that will last me a while. I don't think I'll have to have it replaced or upgraded or um, repaired. It, it did feel very solid and as far as an upgrade point of view goes, although yes, I could um, get all the internals replaced, so far I haven't had, haven't felt that it was lacking anything. So whether you want to get into the M4 platform, having moved from an AK or a um, no. other designs or you want to get into airsoft I do think this is a very good style gun I'll have a link in the description to where I bought it from let me know what you think guys thank you for watching